Welcome to our daily reflection program, I God Today. I am Father B.J. Thomas, a Divine Word missionary, and happy to share with you a few thoughts on today's reading. Every Christian is expected to be a witness to Jesus Christ and His Kingdom. In a random survey conducted as to why many Christians don't speak about Christ to others, some of the common answers given were, I'm not sure what I have to say. My lifestyle does not match what Christ expects of me. I may not be able to give convincing answers when questions are asked. I do not really care about speaking about Christ and so on. What about us? Do we witness to Christ daily? Do we speak about and witness the love of God to people? What answer do we have? The gospel of the day is an assurance and invitation by Jesus to live by the power of the Holy Spirit and thus be a witness of Jesus and his kingdom. One of the primary tasks of Jesus as he left this world was to strengthen his disciples. He knew very well how each one of them would go through periods of crisis after his departure. When things go on well, life seems to be easy. But when hardships and loneliness creeps in, life seems to be too difficult. As long as Jesus was with them, the disciples would have an easy life. But with the departure of Jesus, they would have to face a difficult life. And so Jesus prepares them by assuring them of how the Holy Spirit would strengthen them by saying, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. Jesus knew that all his disciples had weaknesses. Some, would, some were not sure of what answer to be given when questions were asked. Some would only worry about their own position and comforts. Some would be afraid of the people and the society around them. And despite of these weaknesses and fragilities, the Lord did not give upon them. We too have our own weaknesses in witnessing to the Lord in this modern society. Some of us are not sure of what answer to be given to questions that are asked about our faith. Some of us like to remain in our own comfort zones. Some of us are afraid what other people will think. To each of us, the Lord invites to be open to receive the Holy Spirit and thus to live a powerful life of witnessing. Yes, He does not give up on us. Let us renew our commitment to the Lord every day and by His Spirit, with the boldness and courage, stand firm for the gospel values. Amen.